family. All right, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Did you know that you can learn how to connect to yourself more and the universe? Joining us now live from Los Angeles, she's a Canadian. She's a spiritual teacher, a UFO expert, and so much more. She's also a student of the universe and a best-selling <laughs> author. Elizabeth April joining us. Good morning. Awesome. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being on. We have a couple things in common here. Uh, two things. McMaster University alumni, both of us, and both of us want to live our best life. And you have some tips on how we can do that. What do you suggest? Absolutely. I mean, we all know it's a, a crazy world right now at this time. So it's really important to stay neutral. Um, and the best way to stay neutral at this time is to remove yourself from all of the chaos and all of the distraction. So sometimes it's best to take a step back from family, take a step back from social media, take a step back from binge watching Netflix <laughs> and really center into yourself. Maybe, uh, you know, write in your journal or take a bath. Um, it's really important to really just uh, remove yourself from all of the noise and distraction going on around us. And I know you did that recently. You even left the area you were living in. If I was following kind of your journey just to kind of get away from those distractions, uh, how does that help you reset? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, me and my wife actually just bought a beautiful 10 acre property in Canada. Amazing. And that really allows us to get away from the city, get away from the noise, get away from the pollution and all of the people and kind of just neutralize back into nature. So nature is a really great way to get back into yourself and really calm your mind. So a lot of people do not like meditation. I get it. Um, and you don't need to meditate for five hours a day to get back into yourself. It really is about taking those precious moments in between our busy schedule to just relax the mind and take that deep breath and center into the present moment. So nature is great. And like I mentioned, journaling, taking a bath and removing yourself from the chaos and distraction around you. For someone who is terrible at taking a break from everything, <laughs> um, which I am, and has terrible sleep habits, meditation is something that's been suggested. Where do you suggest or how do you suggest we even start with that? How much time do you need for somebody who has a busy schedule? Absolutely. So for me as well, I have such a busy schedule. I actually block in time in mm. my calendar to take a break, to do nothing, uh, which is pretty crazy that you have to block in time in your calendar to do nothing. Um, but that's really important. So what I recommend with meditation is take 10 minutes a day. That's it. That's really all you need. Um, it is a very quick moment to yourself, but it's going to really do you wonders and really kind of increase increase the productivity for the rest of your day as well. Um, there are a ton of incredible apps that you can download on your phone right now that will allow you the five to 10 minutes a day that you need to really center into that energy. Elizabeth, I want to know, you know, I mentioned the best-selling author part of it. You're not dying. You're just waking up is the book. How did you know, because we were speaking off air, of course, about the McMaster background and kind of go into political science and communications. How did you start entering into this world? Yeah, so I was born with extrasensory abilities. Basically, as a kid, I was able to see ghosts and spirits and chakras and auras. And I ended up shutting that ability down um, around the age of 10 years old, just because I wanted to fit in. I was definitely the weird kid, so I wanted to just make friends. Um, and then it was this process of really questioning my reality, uh, wanting to know what more is out there to center back into that information and connection with spirituality and consciousness. So I truly believe that we're all psychic. I believe that we can all tap into infinite amounts of information, past lifetimes. I believe we can lucid dream and there's a lot for us to unravel and uncover. So for me, it was just a journey of unraveling this reality and taking a look behind the scenes. So even in university, I was practicing past life regression and that's how I actually ended up making friends at McMaster was through taking them through a regression and going into their past lifetimes. So that allowed me the space to really deep dive into my spiritual beliefs and uh, to better understand that world. 
There are so many things that you mentioned there where I'm like, check, check. But I think, as you mentioned, you suppressed it when you were younger. I think a lot of people might be doing that. There is so much more to learn uh, and so much more. I want to have another convo with you another day for sure. We are out of time, unfortunately. But where can people find out more information about you and, and everything that you're doing online? Absolutely, yeah. Just ElizabethApril.com um, and then Elizabeth April on all the social medias. And, and you can check out my book and all of the things that I've got going on. That's amazing. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us this morning all the way from LA. I know it's super early, so I appreciate it. All right, we'll be back with more BT to wrap up the show.